Hey guys, Todd Helms with Eastman's Hunting Journals here to bring you a quick review on the 7mm PRC cartridge from Hornady. So I'm going to walk you through all the things that make the 7mm PRC special and unique and why, if you're a 7mm fan, and maybe even if you're not, you should be uh, giving a hard consideration for your next cartridge to be the 7mm PRC. All right, so the 7mm PRC from Hornady is a modern cartridge designed, designed around the premise that performance isn't just velocity. Performance is more than a number. Performance is about ease of use. Performance is about accuracy. Performance is about efficiency and improving upon cartridges from the old days that were good, in fact, even great in the case of the 7mm Rem Mag, and making them better taking the things that those classic cartridges did well and improving upon them. That is the premise behind the entire family of PRC cartridges from the 6.5 PRC to the 300 PRC and now Hornady's new brainchild, the 7mm PRC or the 7 PRC. I've heard it called a lot of different things. The focus is on performance. Performance can be measured in a lot of different ways. If we're talking about just simply pushing a bullet to the fastest it'll possibly go, well, that's one measure of performance, but if that cartridge that does that beats you to a pulp in the process, you're not gonna wanna shoot it, and all that performance then is wasted because you can't put that bullet on game or on paper where it needs to go. The 6.5 Creedmoor just exploded into the marketplace. It took us, somebody you know, said, well, that was, wow, you guys just brought that out. No, it was almost 10 years in the making. But when it finally started to catch on, then it went gangbusters. And, and the reason is, is it's really fun to shoot. That isn't so much an innovation as much as, as, as an evolution. Okay. Because the 6.5 Creedmoor, the 260 Remington, the 6.5 by 55, those cartridge cases are within a fraction of one another. But what we did differently was we we tweaked them in a way to improve the performance of that. The, and all of a sudden, it's not a kick-ass velocity or or blowing the, the doors off with power and everything else. But damn, it shoots. Yeah. And you sit there and you start shooting at as a target and all the bullets are going in one hole and it's like, wow. You follow the rules that we all know work, but you have to impose them across the board. And then we brought out some other, the 6.5 uh, PRC, the, the 300 PRC, uh, now the 7 Seven PRC. Million. All of these uh, building off of that premise of of how you build a, a cartridge. It's not the loudest. It's not the, f the fastest. It's not any of this. But I'll challenge any other cartridge in the marketplace to perform and performance is not just velocity right. i was reading an article where this guy said i've got 10 cartridges that'll outperform the 300 prc yeah you're right 300 remington ultra mag as far as velocity is concerned blow us out of the water but it'll also blow your shoulder off after the fifth shot and you don't want to shoot it anymore and yeah if you don't want to, you close your eyes just when you pull the trigger and duck your head because you're afraid of the recoil that that's, that's not that's fun, and that's no. not performance either. And so the premise behind the 7mm PRC in particular was to create a cartridge that was incredibly efficient and incredibly performance-oriented, not necessarily a cartridge that would push the limits of muzzle velocity beyond comprehension, but take a heavy for caliber, the long, sleek, high ballistic coefficient bullets that are available today, like the ELDX, specifically the 7mm 175 grain ELDX, which is Hornady's hunting bullet, and push it to right around 3,000 feet per second. Hornady advertises that their Precision Hunter line of 7mm PRC ammunition shooting the 175 grain ELDX is going to give you a muzzle velocity of about 3,000 feet per second out of a 22 to 24 inch barrel. Well, my personal Savage 110 Ultralight with a 22 inch barrel. When chronographed at the range earlier this summer, when I was setting everything up and getting it ready for hunting season, my five shot 
average for velocity worked out right at 3,000 feet per second. I had a couple that were a little bit faster and a couple that were just a tick slower than 3,000. So my average was exactly 3,000 feet per second. That is a testament to the quality of engineering and the quality of the processes that Hornady uses in their factory ammunition. If I could reload and get hand loads better than the consistency and the velocity and performance and accuracy that I'm getting out of the Precision Hunter line of 7mm PRC, I would. I can't. Maybe you're a better reloader than I am. In fact, you probably are. And in that instance, Hornady's got your back with a full line of bullets that are going to perform flawlessly in the 7mm PRC. They've got brass, they have dies, they have everything that you need to get yourself started loading the 7mm PRC and realizing all the benefits of the modern cartridge design that this holds. So one of the things that you look at when you look at the 7mm PRC versus the old 7mm Rem Mag, for example, because honestly, that's about, that's the closest comparison that you would have to this. And if, again, if you've got a custom designed 7mm Remington Magnum with a long throat and a fast twist barrel, you're going to be able to, to match this. But for factory purposes, the 7mm PRC takes the 7mm caliber into a realm that it's just hasn't really been to before, unless you're a custom rifle guy that hand loads your ammunition. But factory guys, man, we've been, we've been stuck with that, that design of the 7mm Rem Mag for a really long time. And Hornady saw a need, they saw an opportunity to increase efficiency to increase accuracy and kind of change the parameters about how we think about rifle cartridge performance. Now, one of those things that you're gonna look at is when you look at all of the PRCs, a lot like the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 6 millimeter Creedmoor, you're going to see that these bullets are seated out a lot farther. They don't stick down into the case like more traditional cartridges would. There's more of that bullet showing. Now what that does is it allows you to create a more efficient case design. It's more of a straight wall with a 30 degree shoulder and it allows you to fill that cartridge up right to the top with powder because your bullet's not cramming down in there and taking up case space, eliminating room for more powder. So what you get is more performance out of a smaller, more efficient case. In this case, there's, in this case, there's very little to no taper to the PRC cases. They're straight walled, 30 degrees shoulder, very concentric gas burn and gas flow and powder flow for that matter. And they just, they're efficient. One of the things I've noticed about all of the PRC cartridges, whether it's the 6.5, the 7, or the 300, is they are incredibly accurate right out of the box shooting factory ammunition. I don't have to hunt around looking for what brand or specific type of ammunition my factory rifle wants to shoot. I grab a box of the Hornady Precision Hunter, I go out and guys, I'm telling you, nine times out of 10, whether I'm shooting the 7mm PRC or any other of the PRC family or standard cartridges for that matter, and the Precision Hunter is accurate, it's very consistent, and it is a very efficient round that just flat hammers game. I need an ammunition that I can rely upon under a range of climactic and environmental variables, whether it's heavy precipitation, whether it's extreme cold or extreme heat, I have to have a cartridge that's going to go bang and going to do the job every single time that I pull the trigger. And the combination of the 7mm PRC and the ELDX bullets is a winner. I'm telling you, we've seen some impressive results so far this fall. Our hunt winners, our Eastman's hunt winners, actually took a bull elk with the 7mm PRC down in Colorado. And Guy Eastman was able to take a Wyoming Shiras moose earlier this fall using the 7mm PRC, and he was very impressed. He said it was a one-shot drop right on the spot, and it was the bullet performed flawlessly, along with, obviously, the cartridge performed flawlessly. I've been able to put it through the paces at the range, and I'm impressed. It does everything that's advertised of it, everything that, it's, that Hornady says the cartridge is going to do, it has done at the range for me, and so far in the field, 
for the other guys as well. So that, in a nutshell, is the 7mm PRC cartridge from Hornady. You have three different loadings available for factory ammunition. You have the 160 CX bullet by Hornady, which is their copper monolithic bullet. You have the 175 grain ELDX, which is their all-purpose hunting, hunting bullet. It's designed to do anything you ask of it in a hunting scenario. And you have the 180 grain ELDM. And all of them are going to hover right around 3,000 feet per second. The ELDX in the Precision Hunter lineup got me 3,000 per second right out of the box. I believe the 180 ELDMs, they're advertising at about 2,900, 2,950. And then the 160 CX is right about 3,000 feet per second as well. So those are your three options. I can tell you this, this popularity of this cartridge from what I'm seeing and what I've talked to, about other people who are building custom rifles or looking for a new rifle has been off the charts so far. This is the all-rounder in, in the PRC family. The 6.5 PRC is a great cartridge in and of itself, but it might be, guys might be thinking it might be a little bit light for, the, for as an elk cartridge or a moose cartridge or some of the big bears, for example. You might wanna go up a little bit the 300 PRC is the heavy hitter, man. That is that is the hammer of Thor. That cartridge is designed to just smash at really long distance, and it does just that. Now, the all-rounder, the one that's gonna do everything really, really well, is the 7mm PRC. When you look at the numbers, if you go in the Hornady Ford off app, and you look at the numbers comparing all three of the, of the PRC cartridges, you're gonna see that the 7mm PRC is the one that just kind of rides that middle and it performs way, way out there. It carries its energy extremely well thanks to the long, high ballistic coefficient bullets and it retains velocity at an extremely long range. You're looking at a, at a cartridge that's going to be elk capable out to just shy of a thousand yards. It is your do-all out of the entire family of PRC cartridges. And personally, being a 7mm guy, I couldn't be happier that Hornady brought it out. I've been shooting 7mm's for a really long time and I am a 7mm fanboy. I just love that caliber and I'm super stoked about the 7mm PRC from Hornady. So guys, go get your hands on one, shoot one, check them out if you can. If you're thinking about rebarreling a rifle that you already have, it's really simple to rebarrel to the 7mm PRC. It's just a barrel swap is all it is. You get a pre-chambered 7mm PRC barrel and then screw right on to your 300 Win Mag or your 7mm Rem Mag or your 264 Win Mag. They'll all, it'll all work. You can put a 7mm PRC barrel on any of those actions and it'll do the job for you. So why not? If you've got an old rifle kicking around that you're thinking about maybe, oh, I want something different, I want something new, look at the 7mm PRC. It's incredibly efficient, it's incredibly accurate, and it's built on performance. So hey guys, thanks for joining me on this gear review, and until next time, we'll see you in the field.